The new task here at clean for yield was a flexible material which is coated for photovoltaics and this was an inspection task which is interesting for us. My name is uh, Thomas Laumeyer, working here at Dr. Schenk since 2001 as the head of the Technical Information Center. Dr. Schenk itself as a company has here in Germany roughly 250 employees working on uh, development and production of inspection systems. We are experts in inspection and the Clean for Yield, one part in the Clean for Yield project is inspection. The goal and the target was clearly defined, detecting smallest particles, getting a relation for coating sicknesses, finding local defects on road to road processes and giving input to improve the handlings to be able to detect it. Now the Clean for Yield project asked for detecting particles down to 300 nanometer, 500 nanometer. And for that one, we need to focus on developing new sensors, new light sources. Every application has some certain aspects which are from high interest. Sometimes it's a new kind of defect in the application. Sometimes it's a new optical setup. Sometimes it's a matter of a high machine speed. And so uh, different tasks, different inspection tasks, different applications, each of them has often some specific thing. What does inspection mean? So we are starting, uh, what's the reason to inspect? Why is somebody is inspecting his material, his production processes? If there are some human inspectors, I can use human inspectors. Where are the limits? What is the reason to exchange the human inspectors by an automatic inspection system? When you are introducing an automatic inspection system, what can be done? What are the limits of an inspection system? How important is the optic and the working together of cameras, illumination, optical setup to detect something? What is the influencing of production speed? What's the resolution? What does it mean if you want to inspect a high speed line of 500 meters per minute with a line scan camera?